In China, the hottest lipstick salesperson is not a woman; it's a man. Meet Li Jiaqi, better known as Lipstick Brother. He's an internet celebrity and the number one seller of lipstick online. He even took on Alibaba chairman Jack Ma to see who could sell the most lipstick, and Li won. 刚做直播的时候，我只要一开一播，就会有非常多骂我的声音，就说为什么一个男生你要化妆？但是我这段时间播直播的时候，大家进来之后会觉得说你越来越漂亮了，你越来越精致了，你越来越帅气了。我觉得他们已经开始接受男生化妆。Lee represents a new generation of young Chinese men who care a lot about how they look. He applies base makeup and draws his eyebrows every time before he goes out. And from where he stands as a popular makeup expert in China, he knows he's not alone. Li says there is definitely a growing trend in male beauty happening in the country. 虽然我有就是非常多女生粉丝观看我们直播，但是我在去年六月份发现，我的男性粉丝真的是越来越多，甚至快达到百分之二十的比例了。我觉得男生对于美妆的需求量还是很大的。But there's a problem. Lee says the market isn't producing enough products specifically for men to meet that demand. If you go to the shops and look at the shelves, it's mostly women's makeup brands. There's no one who makes men's makeup brands. Lee's advice to beauty brands: Don't miss this opportunity. Beauty giant L'Oreal is taking note, but the French cosmetics company doesn't want to just bring its existing line of men's products to China. It also wants to develop new products just for the Chinese market. To do that, L'Oreal has partnered with Alibaba's Tmall Innovation Center. TMIC is the market research division of Alibaba. It uses insights pulled from the more than 600 million consumers shopping on Alibaba's e-commerce platforms to help brands find their target audience in China and design products tailored specifically for this market. 那在过去一年多时间里面，我们合作了差不多六百多个的这个全球顶尖的品牌，然后目前已经孵化上线的新品数超过了三百多个。那而且这些上线的品牌里面，我们可以看到它的整个新品孵化的周期是明显缩短的。传统行业可能需要十八个月的时间，而我们今天可能最快能做到六到九个月。L'Oreal and TMIC decided that the first step was to get a better understanding of this growing consumer base. So they crunched Alibaba's data about male consumers in China and published a white paper with the results. What they found was there's no such thing as a typical Chinese male consumer. There were different types of guys buying different products in different cities. With TMIC's help, L'Oreal was able to identify five groups of male consumers in China, each with its own distinctive consumption patterns and beauty rituals. There's the average guy who doesn't buy much more than the basic moisturizers and body wash. Young professionals who actively seek out high-quality grooming products made specifically for men. Another group focuses on facial products such as masks and toners. There's one that buys only hair products such as gels and dyes. And the most sophisticated group uses all kinds of beauty products, and they want premium brands, especially when it comes to oral hygiene and colognes. Within these consumer types, the white paper pointed to three trends playing out in China's male beauty sector. One that men are getting even more sophisticated about their grooming regimen. They're adding more products to their daily beauty routines to make sure they look their best. Male consumers in China also want products made especially for men. Unisex products just aren't going to cut it anymore. Lastly, guys here want better products too, and they're willing to pay up for them. So there's a premiumization playing out on Tmall as male consumers shop for higher-end items. We know what kind of touch points matter for them, and we can really go to a level. Of specifically targeting each different kind of Chinese consumer males. Lipstick brother Li Jiaqi eagerly awaits these new products, and he looks forward to testing them on his live stream show.